This is my grandpa, Sidney Jacobson, and I'm going to interview him about his hearing aids. Say hi, Grant. Hi. <laughs> How old are you? 81. When did you finally realize that you truly needed hearing aids? Very difficult to say. I probably truly realized many, many years ago, uh, but just to accept the fact that I just couldn't hear it. Usually, uh, during the conversation in company at restaurants, uh, even at work, I would have to ask them what the hell was said. And I used the word help. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is just something that uh, I just accepted, and I said, well, I'm getting old, so therefore, to I something that one should expect and it just didn't it didn't really bother me to the point until recently that uh, that I was missing out on lots of conversation and a lot of things that were happening around me. Okay, thanks, Grant. Um what was holding you back from getting those hearing aids? Oh you just answered that. I'll go to the next mm -hmm. one. Has Granny's mumbling subsided since you got your hearing aids? Yes, yes it has, but it so at the same time, unless she speaks loud and loud, because she has a very, very soft voice, even with the hearing aid at times I can't hear her, uh, but it certainly has improved considerably. How do you like your hearing aids? I like it very much. Now that I'm getting used to it, I had difficulty in inserting it one day, but now I seem to have got over that and uh, it certainly made a big difference. So your only problem thus far has just been in inserting it. Didn't you have problems um, adjusting it to it initially? Well, the lot of problems with adjusting because what I've found happening now, there are sounds that I, uh, at times I, I, I don't recognize because I haven't heard them for such a long time. And at the same time, there are sounds which I haven't heard. Typical example is when I heard my, one of my dogs was walking in front of me and I heard clink, 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 clink. I looked around to see where the noise was coming from to realize it was from her collar. Mm. It's nice to hear these noises again, huh? Um, okay. Uh, have, so would you say they've made a major impact on your life? I wouldn't say it's a major, major impact, but it certainly has made an impact. Uh, I do feel more comfortable that uh, I get involved with the conversation. And, even if I'm not supposed to be hearing what they're talking about, but at the same time, it certainly does help. How long have you had them for? I've had them for about two months now, two, two and a half months. And do you wear them most of the time? Unfortunately, no. I do forget more often than not. Probably it could be because of my age, but it is that they are forgetful, and all of a sudden I realize I haven't got them in my ear. But uh, when I do remember, I, I insert them. Thank you. Um, do you believe they're worth the price? Yes. Even though they are very, the one that I have is, uh, is maybe not the most expensive, but it's certainly not cheap. Mm -hmm. And it certainly is a draw that I have spoken to a number of people just recently uh, where I actually realized that they couldn't hear me and I brought up the subject and they said the price. The price is exorbitant in certain situations. And to buy cheap, you get cheap. Do you believe that it should be covered by insurance? Yes. I mean, it is, it is as if one gets cancer. If one gets cancer, you're covered. Uh, this, this, to me, is part of uh, something happening in your, in your ears that is no longer as it used to be. It yes, definitely believe that it should be covered. Okay, last question. What would you tell older individuals who need hearing aids but refuse to get them? It's very difficult because as those I've actually mentioned that you should, I have actually on occasion since I've got my own hearing aid, I've uh, mentioned that it's uh, explained to them the difference of my hearing and it's again the, the major problem is cost. Thanks Grandpa. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>